Um, the next question you asked, um, Almighty Elemental, is would you rather watch a 24-hour marathon of Teletubbies or listen to nothing but Kevin Federline songs for 24 hours? Um, of course, I think it'd be the Kevin Federline songs. I don't even know if he makes music. Um, but, well, I could cheat and I would be listening to the songs, but they could be really quiet. Um, also, I could... Well, a lot of times I can listen to songs and then listen to um, other things at the same time. I can I can multi hear. There's not that many people that can, I guess, but I can multi hear things. I can hear like three conversations at once. Um, everybody starts telling me stop playing with your nose while you're doing um, question and answers, but I end up getting itchy nose. Um, so yeah, probably the Kevin Federline thing, even if I didn't make it quiet. Um, your next question, All Mine Elemental, is what is your honest opinion of me? Uh, do you like me, or am I just starting to get on your nerves? Um, I, I don't think you're getting, I mean, I don't think you've gotten on my nerves yet. Um, so yeah, I do like you. Um, Wacko Sandro 5 asks, can we buy your friendship? If so, how much? Well, I joke and I say four ninety-five per minute, but um, I don't know, I mean, is it... When I the see my de- definition of friendship is a little different than yeah my definition of friendship is different than most people my definition of friendship is that you never use the person as a resource but always as a partner you begin to not be able to distinguish between them and yourself in other words my best friend Eddie here if he just needed money for some reason I know that he would consider us as a unit as a combination of two different people that are trying to work towards a common goal that both of us would succeed in whatever endeavors we had so I would have no problem giving him money just straight out as long as I had the money to give um, and that's just how I kind of consider friendship and it's a much more profound definition than what most people consider so in that sense it is impossible to buy my friendship no matter how much money it is um, yeah um, now, if you're talking about the type of friendship that most people define it as, sure, just a few bucks here and there, it'll keep me happy. <laughs> um, Todd51, or T0D51, either way, asks, what do I think of Google Mars? I don't actually know what it is. It sounds like it's probably a mapping system of Mars, and that would be kind of boring, I think. Um, Inu63san, or, oh, I forget, he wants me to say it differently. I don't remember what that is, though. Probably just Inu-san. Um, asks, I don't know if anyone has already asked this, but I missed the last one. When do you plan on doing another streaming thing? Uh, um, I generally try to do it every Saturday, or not every Saturday, but w- if I'm doing it, it's on a Saturday. But um, if things are kind of hectic, if I am not getting around to doing LP footage for a while, um, I'm going to try to reduce the amount of streaming I do to like once every four or five weeks. Um, but if I have caught up and everything, then I'll probably be doing it more frequently. Maybe as often as once a week. Probably not. Probably more like twi- uh, once every other week. Um, the Overlord player asks, do you prefer good or evil in the Choice is Yours games? Um, I almost always prefer good. Um, there's a lot of times where in a game, if you've gone through the evil um, side of things, and you come up to a situation where you are, quote-unquote, supposed to do something really vicious and violent to something that someone that it just seems like they're just good people and you're just doing something really evil to them, um, it makes me sad. So, yeah, I I always try to prefer to be good in the uh, Choice is Yours games. Uh, I kind of like the whole Jade Empire thing where they had open palm versus closed fist. It wasn't so much of good good and evil, it's more of aggressive versus passive or... Not, that's not even the best way of putting it. Um, open versus rough. I'm not sure. Uh, with no name uh, mentions um, it's, uh, he's, that he's sure that I uh, that it's not hard to become friends with me as long as they have a good set of boobs. Uh, I know a lot of people that have a good set of boobs that I am not interested in whatsoever. One person, pretty specifically, but uh, there's no way that person will ever watch any of my videos. I don't think. I don't even know how she's doing anymore, but um, yeah, so if you're watching this video, <laughs> I'm not talking about you <laughs> essentially um, 
Edel Films asks, what is your opinion on Valve games? Um, I think the um, majority of Valve, game, Valve games are really good. And that also answers Beef 5's question. Um, do you think Havoc Engine is well designed? Um, I don't remember what Havoc Engine is related to. Um, and would you ever download Steam, even if it's just to have a group to chat with, fan, without giving a Skype number? Um, I definitely wouldn't download Steam for something as silly as chatting with people. Um, and Dishwasher ties into this whole uh, question and answer thing. Um, he says that he hates DRM enforcement, such as Steam. He also has Steam since he owns Left 4 Dead. I actually have Left 4 Dead, and I don't have Steam, and I'm very proud of that. Um... Uh, JezTac33 asks, are you a fan of other Let's Players? Um, I am a fan of Cloud8745 when he's being honorable to his viewers. Um, I'm also a fan of Over the Gun very recently. I've really uh, enjoyed Over the Gun quite a bit. Next on the list would be uh, Lord Vega. I think Lord Vega is really awesome. And then finally fourth and last, uh, I'm not too interested in other LPRs too much, um, is uh, Lewis Brower. Um, there's also Irate Gamer and Angry Video Gamer Nerd, but I don't really consider them Let's Players. They're reviewers. <laughs> okay, uh, Need for Poop asks, um, I want to ask what you think about GTA 4. Um, I think GTA 4 is fun, but so realistic that it's loses a lot of its fun and gameplay. And then he also wonders what I think about Call, Call of Duty 4, and I've never played Call of Duty 4. I've heard a lot of good things about it, but I've uh, never played it. Um, uh, Blue Guy 85 asks, what do you think that the next Total War series be about? Um... I'm um, well. I mean, I could just answer with what I would kind of be interested in. Um, I heard that there was a lot of amazing battles that took place between China and Japan um, back in their medieval era, quote unquote, and that'd be pretty interesting to see how that all turned out. Um, but I don't think I really don't think that would be what they would choose. Um, probably be some. Like World War Two, Total War, or something like that. I don't know. Or Napoleon. I mean, yeah, maybe they'd have a Napoleon one. That, that's a kind of a good guess. Um, they have Rome Total War. Yeah, I'm thinking Napoleon would probably be the most likely the next one. Um, Heavy Retard123 asks, have you seen the new Watchmen movie? If so, did you like it? Um, I have seen it, and yeah, I liked it. I didn't love it. It was quite interesting. Um, but there were just there's some there were some feelings and scenes that were really amazing and profound, but there were also some scenes and feelings that were kind of like like the whole love life and depression and stuff like that between well I, I guess I shouldn't mention it, but uh, if you haven't seen it, but there's a whole love aspect of the uh, the movie and it's just not very interesting to me. 